Right now, NASA teams are reviewing data from a critical test performed today on its mega moon rocket. Crews have been working all day to fix a leak on the SLS during fueling. So let's take a live look now at the Artemis One rocket at Kennedy Space Center. New 6's James Barbero is there live tonight. And James, overall, NASA called this test a success today. That's true, Lisa, but the bottom line for us is we don't know if the rocket might launch next Tuesday. NASA leaving that open because they work through the fuel leaks that you described, but also at the same time during that count, during one of those final moments, a pressurization test where they brought the pressure levels up into the hydrogen tank to simulate what it would be like just before launch. They say too much hydrogen leak to be acceptable on a launch day. For the limits of a test, though, they continue to work through it. So the launch director says she's very happy with the work that the crews have been doing since 7.30 this morning. That first leak detected about five minutes after 10. They took about an hour to warm up the fuel lines. They said the leak at that point became manageable enough to continue fueling the rocket. They fully fueled the 32-story space launch system, the core stage and the upper stage. And then when that pressurization test happened, that's when another leak was detected. And the rate at which they described, they initially told us it was stable, and then they came back and told us the level at which it reached again, it would have stopped a countdown on an actual launch attempt. So not good news there, but for the sake of the test results today, NASA says they're happy. So again, they have to review the data they're telling us. They're not giving us an answer if they will press forward, in fact, with a launch attempt next Tuesday. Remember, they also needed approval from the Space Force, which they were still waiting on to even give them a chance at this as well next Tuesday. If NASA can launch next Tuesday, it would open at 11.37 in the morning, a 70-minute launch window. But again, we have to wait on NASA now to hear what's next. They only have six days, so we imagine an update could come down as soon as tomorrow, perhaps. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.